Welcome to Juniper Learning Bytes. My name is Jim Harrison and I'll be taking you through the Juno Space initial install. To start off with, there are two Juno Space appliances. There's the physical appliance known as the JA1500 and there's also the Juno Space virtual appliance. The virtual appliance is a software image file that you download from Juniper's website and install on a supported server platform. Here are the supported server platform requirements. You can install the virtual appliance on a VMware ESX server version 3.5 or later that can support a virtual machine with the following configuration. A 64-bit quad processor with at least 2.66 gigahertz, a virtual appliance package configured with 8 gigs of RAM, a virtual appliance package configured with four virtual NICs, one or two Ethernet interfaces, and a minimum of 45 gigabytes of hard disk space. So you can have one or two Ethernet interfaces. Uh, we mention this because you have the option to have one interface dedicated to just the web GUI clients, the clients that are going to log into JunoSpace and, and uh, perform the administration for JunoSpace. And you can have another interface dedicated to your managed devices. Or you can just use one interface for both. So here are the two different options. And this is something you definitely want to uh, prepare for when you're going to set up JunoSpace. The first option is to use Ethernet Zero for all communication where you have your managed devices and the GUI clients connected out that same interface. And the second option is to use Ethernet Zero for the GUI client communication and to use Ethernet 3 interface for just your communication with your managed devices. When we say managed devices, we're talking about uh, your MX devices, your SRX devices, EX devices, and so forth, the devices you're going to manage through JunoSpace. There are additional items you'll need to prepare for when you're going to set up uh, JunoSpace. You'll want to uh, determine the default gateway IP address. If you're going to use both interfaces, you're going to want to uh, determine which gateways you're going to need for each interface. You'll want to determine any uh, network settings, such as your DNS server IP address. If you're going to uh, synchronize the time settings with an NTP server, you'll need to know the NTP server IP address. Uh, this is optional and it's not required as you, as you set up JunoSpace. You also want to determine any passwords and uh, default credentials you use. Um, the default credentials for JunoSpace that you're going to use to log in is admin and ABC123. That's just the password for what we call maintenance mode and we'll explain what that means. And uh, an item to remember here is that during the setup you have to first change the admin account password and you set up a new password the very first time you log into maintenance mode. Additional setup items uh, uh, require the, you to choose a name for the Juno Space node. Uh, this node is going to be what's displayed in the, uh, the GUI interface. So maintenance mode and GUI mode. When you set up Juno Space Virtual Appliance, there are two IP addresses that exist for Interface Ethernet Zero. There's the maintenance mode IP address and there's a web GUI IP address. Maintenance mode is just used for maintenance items. In this case, we're going to use it for setting up and doing the initial install. GUI IP address, the web GUI IP, is what the administrators log into to perform any management uh, within Juno Space. All right, so the first step to going through this setup is to download and install the Juno Space software. There's the link that you go to on Juniper's uh, site to, to download that. Once you've downloaded the file, uh, the next step is to install the software image file on a supported server platform. Um, you can, again, and it's listed there, the supported server platform is the VMware ESX server. Note that it also can work on those other platforms listed below. And in the case, what we're doing is we're, just for this learning by demonstration, we're going to install it on a VM server environment that can uh, download and install the software image file. So here's the software image uh, 
uh, file page that you go to Juniper site to download it. This is the file you want to get is the image for virtual appliance. This is the OVA file and again you need to install this on a s supported server platform um, to be able to uh, that will use this image. Once you've installed it on your server you're then able to bring up a prompt for the console for maintenance mode and that's what I have here. So I have the file downloaded and I'm going to log into the maintenance mode. Remember the default credentials is admin, it's the username, and the password is abc123. Prompts you to change that when you first log in so I'll type it again abc123 and then I'll specify a new password here. Okay, it's informed me that it's uh, successfully updated the password. Asked me if I want to continue after telling me uh, what uh, minimum requirements are. I say yes, I want to continue. Please enter the new IP address for Interface Ethernet 0. So here it's asking for your maintenance mode uh, IP address. In this case, this is my maintenance mode address. It's going to be on this subnet. Wants me to specify my subnet mask. I'm going to specify a slash 20 here because that's where my default gateway will be on that same subnet. And it wants me to specify the DNS name server, which I'm just going to use a common DNS server here. It's asking me if I want to configure a separate interface for device management. In this case, I want to say yes, because I am going to configure Ethernet 3, a separate subnet where my managed devices uh, on the network are. I'm going to say yes. Again, it wants me to type the IP address for Ethernet 3. Which I'm then going to type. And put in my subnet mask for that. I'm just going to do a slash 24 mask. And then put my default gateway for that subnet. Will this Junospace system be added to an existing cluster? I'm going to say no. Okay, now it's asking for the IP address for the web GUI. Uh, this is the other address you're going to put on Ethernet 0. This is the one that all the clients are going to log into. So in my case, my address is this. Okay, do I want to add an NTP server? I'm going to say no. I don't want to change the current time, that's fine. And then I want to just put in a name for this node. I'm just going to type space. I'll capitals. I want you to configure a password for this uh, cluster maintenance mode. You have to specify something. Okay, once you're done it shows you a setting summary of all the different things. Notice that uh, the first address mentioned here for Ethernet 0, that's the maintenance mode address. The web IP address is the other interface, or the other address on Ethernet 0 that, uh, that all the clients are going to log into. Ethernet 3 is the other interface for your managed uh, network devices if you choose uh, to use that interface. It's optional. So we're going to go hit uh, type option A to apply these settings. And now it's going to go through and apply all these, reload the database. This process is going to take roughly uh, 15, 15 minutes or more. And so uh, we'll come back after 15 minutes and show you that you can log into uh, Juno Space. All right, so here we are. And now I'm returning back um, to the Juno Space login. 
and um, so then let's go back and I'll just show you that you can now log in so now you're going to specify the IP address again this is the web GUI IP address and so you just do HTTPS the IP address name uh, you don't need to do forward slash main UI I think it'll redirect you to that um, but you can just type in that IP address You'll probably get a message about the site's security certificate, which you just want to go ahead and then proceed. And then now here we have our uh, Juno Space GUI login. The default username is super, and the password is lowercase juniper123. You can log in, and then it just takes a minute or two to log in, and then you'll see the uh, login page and then the base applications that are there installed in Junos or Junospace. So uh, thanks for watching this learning bite and uh, I guess we'll just go back to the PowerPoint slide here. That was the rest of our presentation. Thanks for watching this uh, learning bite. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.